In Terraria, mounts are some of the best items to help you get an advantage and to move around very easily. With there being 25 different mounts in Terraria, it can sometimes be confusing to know which mount you should choose, which is why, in today's video, we will be taking a look at my top 5 mounts in Terraria. Number 5. The Majestic and Dark Horse Mounts For 5th place, we have both the Majestic and Dark Horse Mounts. These two mounts are the best mounts available before hard mode, with being able to be purchased from the Zoologist for 25 gold. Both of these mounts have the same stats, being able to jump up to 12 blocks and go up to 41 miles per hour. Because of how important mounts can be early game, and the fact these mounts are essentially the same, I decided to give them both the number 5 spot on this list. Number 4, the Unicorn Mount. The next mount we will be taking a look at is the Unicorn Mount. This mount has a 2.5% chance to be dropped by unicorns, making it one of the best mounts in the game that's available right after going into hard mode. The unicorn mount can jump up to 39 blocks, with it being able to jump another 9 blocks using its double jump feature. Speed-wise, this mount is one of the fastest in the game, with a speed of 61 miles per hour. The last neat feature of this mount is the fact that it does summoner damage to enemies when running into them at full speed, making this the perfect mount to run around at night with. Number 3, the Winged Slime. The Winged Slime mount is one of the easiest mounts to obtain once in hard mode, while at the same time being one of the best mounts in Terraria. The best part about this mount is the fact that it can fly 146 blocks high, which makes up for it not being able to fly. The Winged Slime will also do damage to enemies jumped on while using it, and it can float in all liquids. This mount has a 25% chance to be dropped by the Queen Slime in all modes, making it an amazing mount that's easy to get. Number 2, the Witch's Broom. The Witch's Broom is an amazing mount that allows you to fly infinitely and can reach a speed of 62 miles per hour. This mount is dropped by the Morning Wood during the Pumpkin Moon and has a drop rate of 5-20% to on Expert and Master Mode. The Witch's Broom is perfect for its size, allowing you to fly through small spaces like doorways with ease, unlike the UFO mount. Number 1, Cute Fish Rod. And finally, in the first spot, we have the Cute Fish Rod mount. This mount is, in my opinion, the best mount stat-wise in the game, allowing you to fly infinitely and get an insane speed boost underwater. The cute fish run can go 53 miles per hour normally, 67 miles per hour if your health is below 50% after leaving the water, and 81 miles per hour if you are fully submerged underwater. The only way to obtain this mount is through Duke Fishron's expert treasure bags, but the mount more than makes up for the grind that can be necessary to get it. While that covers up the top 5 list, we still have 3 honorable mentions to go over. These mounts are great for their own reasons, but just weren't good enough in my opinion to make the list. The Drill Mount is without a doubt one of the best endgame mounts. With this mount, you can fly infinitely and destroy blocks. While its crafting recipe is a hefty price to pay, and its speed isn't the absolute best at 51, the ability to break blocks with your mount makes them both well worth it. The Tree Mount is the fastest mount on land, reaching a speed of 96 miles per hour, which pairs nicely with the fact it summons damage to enemies you run into it while going full speed. This mount has a 25% chance to be dropped by the Morning Wood, and is only available on Master Mode. The only reason I didn't include it on the list is because it can't fly or jump very well, giving you disadvantages in some very important areas of the game. The last honorable mention we'll be taking a look at today is the Rudolph Mount, this red nose mount can shockingly jump up to 582 blocks, while also having a decent speed of 61 miles per hour. The Rudolph mount has up to a 0.83% chance to be dropped by the Ice Queen during the Frost Moon invasion. While it's a great mount, the Winged Slime mount had just a few more benefits to it that made me choose it over the Rudolph mount. While that wraps up the honorable mentions, make sure to let me know what your favorite mount is in the comments. Personally speaking, the Winged Slime Mount is my favorite, with it being the only mount I use after I get it during my playthroughs. While mounts make movement extremely easy, so do wings, which I also made a top 5 over, which will pop up in the top right of your screen now. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Terraria videos like this in the future. I also run a Terraria Discord and Terraria servers on mobile and PC. The link for both of those will be posted below in the video's description. Thanks for sticking to the end, and as always, make sure to have a wonderful day.